students, welcome to class. In our previous lesson, you learned the meaning of a ledger, and I'm sure you'll be able to classify ledger, which is the personal, impersonal. On that impersonal, you have real and nominal. But in this lesson, I'll be teaching another topic, which is introduction to keyboarding. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define keyboarding, mention the importance of keyboarding, and then outline correct sitting posture for keyboarding. And finally, know the care of a key or computer. Introduction to keyboarding. Keyboarding was introduced to ease the production of documents. Now we are going to see the meaning of keyboarding. Keyboarding is a communication tool in business studies which requires the use of typewriter or computer keyboard to produce letters or information. The typewriter keyboard is similar in arrangement to that of the computer, except for a few additional functional keys included in the computer keyboard. Once again, keyboarding is defined as a communication tool in business studies, which requires the use of typewriter or computer keyboard to produce letters or information. In business, these will enable the businessman or businesswoman communicate with one another. All right, that means communicating with their clients or customers. So keyboarding is a tool that will enable one communicate in business. All right. Now, with the help of keyboarding, especially the computer aspect of keyboard, it gives access to anyone, both young and old, to communicate effectively. All right. This will bring us to the importance of keyboarding. This is important, whether as a businessman, as an individual a student or teacher. One, it will enable clean and easy to read document to be produced. Secondly, it is used for entering figures during computation. All right. Good mastery of the keyboard enables one to acquire marketable skills. It serves as alternative to the use of pointing devices. All right. Now, correct sitting posture. In keyboarding, there are certain postures that are acceptable. One, you must sit in an upright position. Secondly, Keep the feet flat on the floor. Let your arms be relaxed when typing. Let your fingers be curved. From the above diagram, you could see that some sitting posture is wrong. This will bring ache to the back. So learn to sit upright when typing. Parts of a computer. Computer has various parts. We are going to be looking at the parts of the computer. We have alphabetic keys. Secondly, numeric keys. And the third part is known as functional keys. Functional keys. And the last but not the least part is the cursor control keys. We're going to take them one after the other. 
The alphabetic keys are arranged in rows from letters A to Z on the keyboard. It is used for entering tests into test editors such as Notepad, WordPad, Microsoft Word. And then the numeric keys consist of keys having figures from 0 to 9 and other keys such as plus, minus, and the rest. It is used for typing figures into the computer. And then the functional keys consist of keys labeled F1, F2 to F12. They occupy the topmost part of the computer keyboard. Generally, they are used to perform tasks or functions. All right. And then we have the cursor control key. The cursor control key does several things like giving some functions, all right, as alternative to use when pointing your device using the mouse. They are used to navigate through letters typed, okay? Then let's look at the care of the computer. How do we care for our computer? One, the computer room should be spacious and when ventilated. Secondly, the computer room should be dry, constantly clean and dust free. Sorry. The computer and all the input and output devices should be cleaned at regular intervals. Cover the computer with dust covers when not in use. Maintain cool temperature always by using fans or air conditioner. Use mouse pad to preserve the mouse. Use voltage stabilizer or power surge. You could also use a dry, clean rag to clean or cutting board neat, dry, to clean. You could also use any soft brush, neat and dry rag clothes can be used to clean the computer. Do well to use this and maintain your computer and it will last as long as you want them to. Welcome back. I'm sure you have learned the meaning of keyboarding. You have also known that keyboarding is a tool in business studies that is used for communication. And you have also learned the importance of keyboarding. The posture, the right sitting posture in keyboarding and how to care for your computer. So with that, we come to the end of this class. Do well to provide answers to the evaluation questions you see in your portal. All right, that'll be all. I'll see you next class. Please, like I always say, stay safe.